guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is all about converting measurements and there's a special treat at the end of this video because it's actually an Easter biscuit recipe which you guys can have a go at baking home and share them with your friends and families and maybe even your favourite teacher. That's all about things including metres, litres and grams. So metres obviously measuring length, litres measuring capacity, so volume of water or liquid, and grams measuring the weight of something. So, writing out the conversions, now my year sixes would tell you I have made them write this out a lot, just to make sure that it sticks into their brains. Now this is one giving you an example of grams, however it is the same for any type of metric system one that you use. Starts with kilo and then it goes to grams or meters or liters, then it's centi, then finally all the way down to milli being the smallest version of that unit of measure. So here we have written out how you would convert between different units of measure. So for example, if I wanted to convert something from kilograms to grams, looking at that grid there, I would find kilograms and move across with my arrow to grams, so I would have to multiply my number by 1000. If I wanted to go from grams to centigrams, I would move across one further and I can see that I would have to multiply by 100. Now if I wanted to go the other way, so I was going from a smaller unit of measure like milligrams and I wanted to go to something bigger like centigrams, my arrow goes the other way, which means that instead of multiplying I actually will divide this number. So to get from milligrams to centigrams I would divide by 10. For example here, if I wanted to go from grams to milligrams and skip centigrams in the middle, I would have to do the equivalent of two jumps. Now I could do two jumps separately, so I could multiply it by 100 and then multiply it by 10, but actually I can see that I could do the whole jump all together by multiplying it by 1000. And the same would go for if I wanted to go from milligrams to grams, if I wanted to go the other way, I would simply divide it by 1000. Okay, so let's have a go at a question. I've got four different weights here, all with different measures. Now as you can see, some are in kilograms and some are in grams. And I want to put these in order from the smallest to the largest. Well the big issue here is going to be that they are in different measures. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn them all into the same unit of measure, which is going to be grams. So I'm going to have to use my conversion grid down in the bottom right hand corner to turn the two there from kilograms to grams. Now I know to get from kilograms to grams I have to multiply by a thousand. Two by one thousand and multiply 0 0.3 by one thousand to give me it in grams. I will then put these in the correct order. Okay, so here they are now in the correct order. Now you must remember, if you're doing this in a test, that although you may have converted it to make it easier, when you actually write them in the correct order, you have to go back to the original unit that they were measured in. So as you can see, it goes 150 grams, 0 0.2 kilograms, 250 grams, and 0 0.3 kilograms. Okay, so we're going to have a look at doing this using a different measure now. So we're going to go into measuring length in metres. So what I'd like you to do, pause your screen, use the conversion at the side to help you. Can you connect up the centimetres, millimetres and kilometres from either side of the list? Okay guys, so here are the answers if you had a go at that. Check what you got, see where you've managed to match up the right answers. Well done. Biscuits. However, there's been a bit of an issue. Here is a recipe some for some Easter biscuits. In the, pro in the process, and I would like you to convert them so that they are correct. So, for example, the first one is 0.3 kilograms of flour. Well, that's just a bit confusing to bake with. So, I would like you to turn it into grams. Once you've had a go at doing all of them, unpause the video and see if you've got the right answers. Good luck, guys. Okay, so here are the measurements, now they've been converted, hopefully, hopefully you got them all correct, 
and you can now skip over and you will find the recipe for the actual Easter biscuits. If you manage to have a go at this, comment and like down below. So here is the recipe. It is to make some vanilla Easter biscuits with lovely decorations. I've made them myself. They're very, very lovely. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Keep tuned. I'll be posting some more later on. And enjoy your baking.